we hear from these students in the studio. Um, a couple of people have asked me to do a little tutorial on some basic stem pull techniques, so um, that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, if you've never done spin pull before, there's a couple things that you're going to want to focus on initially. One of them is going to be climbing properly, and then another thing I like to teach my beginner uh, spin pull girls is um, the pencil, because this really teaches you how you need to use your core and your whole upper body, especially your back, to really control your spin. So um, let's start with um, a basic chair, uh, just to get an idea of how to control your momentum. So your inside arm is fully extended. When we go into our spins, we want to use our outside hand to push away at armpit height. So I'm going to go into modified chair and it's going to look like this. So as you can see, I am pushing my hips back because I want to control the momentum the way it wants to pull my hips forward. So you don't want to go into spin on spin pull the way you would on static. So you need to pull back. So I'm hiking a little bit to control that desire for the momentum to pull me forward. So if you watch one more time, as I push across, I'm going to push my hips back, extending my outside leg, my inside knee is bent, it's just for style. Um, you can do this with straight legs, both knees bent, but either way you are hiking. So I'll show you it as I'm spinning, changing um, the different options, okay? So it looks like this. So this is the way I did it initially. You can go both legs straight, both knees bent, or any kind of combination you want with that. You'll notice that I have distance from the pole. I'm not letting myself come in. So when I push off into this, I definitely want to maintain my distance by using that hand to help push away. I'm squeezing into my back to utilize my back muscles to help support my shoulders. I don't want to be hanging from the pole. And then I'm holding my core really tightly to control this whole movement. So um, that's sort of one basic um, combination for a spin pull practice to get used to how the momentum feels, pulling it, keeping your distance, etc. Um, the second thing I'm going to show you, as I talked about just a little bit earlier, is the pencil. Now the pencil, I'm going to show it to you and then kind of break that one down too. So this is what it looks like. So, you'll notice that I'm pulling into my back, so when I turn to enter the spin, I'm going to step on my inside foot, pivot on it to look at the pole, my outside hand will come underneath in a baseball grip, and I'm going to maintain the distance of at least a foot from the pole. As soon as I do that, I push off to lift and squeeze into my back to pull myself up, trying to get my face in line with my hands. And then I'm going to literally flex my abs like that. So it's not really noticeable. It looks like I'm staying straight, but my abs are not relaxed. I'm flexing tight. So a good thing to practice while you're just standing is take a deep breath in and then go and tighten those abs. And that's what you want to feel when you enter into this pencil spin. So again, I'll show you when I turn, I look at the pull, I pull up, flex my abs, squeeze my back, okay, to hold it. Now, there's one other thing that happens with a lot of people when they try this, spin, um, this one on spin pull. And what tends to happen is, so people will get up nice and straight, but then all of a sudden, whatever direction you're spinning in, somehow your hips start to turn open and pull you forward. Uh, facing the direction you're spinning when you want to maintain um, being centered on the pole. So a little trick that helps with that is while you're flexing your abdominals um, to maintain a strong straight posture, you're also going to take the hip that's, that's going in the direction you're spinning. So if I'm spinning clockwise, my left hip is going to be leading, so I'm going to want to take my left hip and just turn it right a little bit more. So I want to turn away from the, the direction I'm spinning, and that's going to help me stay straighter. So one more time, I'm going to step with my inside foot, reach up, squeeze the back, abs tight, turn that hip in, hold it, make sure you're breathing, out, and that is your pencil spin. So give those two things a little try, and I'll show you how to climb on spin pole in another tutorial. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.